you know, they sound cute by their name, love handles. There's nothing to love about them. They are nasty. Hi guys, it's Rosha again from Fitness and Meals. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button right here <laughs> so that you never miss a new video when I drop it. So as you can tell from the title, guys, I am gonna show you my concoctions I use to get rid or to keep my love handles in check. For those of you who don't know what love handles are, love handles are that excess, you know, they sound cute by their name, love handles. There's nothing to love about them. They are nasty. <laughs> I mean, love handles are that excess fat that sits around your waist area, especially in the sides. And when you put on your skirt or your pants, they will hang on top of your pants or your skirt. For example, if I had love handles, let me show you quickly, then that would mean that on the sides of my waist, there would be excess fat or sometimes there are folds. And I like to call them city tires or some times we'll call them muffin tops so it's see that excess nasty fat will sit around here so that when you put on your skirt like my beautiful nice cute skirt <laughs> like that it will sit nasty here you see my skirt it's hanging nicely over my skin because I don't have excess fat but when you have excess love handles or excess fat around this area then you'll have something like that I hope you can see so if you have excess love handles, it will be like some excess fold over fat like this. Let me try to grab some fat around my area of my waist and like that. And then sometimes people have as many as four folds around the same uh, side. Like you have another fold like that folding on top of that one. So you have such things, such city tires I call them. So yeah, I'm trying to grab some fat. You excuse me here if I look weird. So like that. So those will be the love handles. And if you're really uh, somebody who really wants to be in shape, then you wanna get rid of this because it will look good in clothes. And sometimes when you put on your skirt like this, uh, it will go on and sit and, and fold up your skirt like that. And yeah, that will look nasty. It's not beautiful. It's not cute at all. We need to get rid of it. So. Yeah, we need a waist that is lean. My waist is still a work in progress. I'm still working on it, but I'm so proud where I am. And yeah, let's work on it. So many people will try to do endless crunches, uh, do exercises that are targeting that oblique area, and you will not get any good results. Why? Because there is a better and effective way of getting rid of such uh, fat. You can do it by dieting, reducing your stress levels, reducing your alcohol intake as well. So diet also plays a big role in such things as well as exercise. Without wasting any more of your time guys, let's look at the ingredients I'm going to use in this concoction for getting rid of love handles. So to begin with guys, these are going to be the ingredients. I have here what we call uh, in Dutch a laurea blood, a laurea leaf. I'm going to look up the word in English also very very aromatic leaf and sometimes I mix up my English and Dutch you forgive me but that's lemon of course all of you know it and that's ginger and uh, we're gonna have here uh, some canel which is Dutch but that means uh, cinnamon in English hope it focuses a cinnamon and we're gonna need the main ingredient is kombucha now guys who don't know about kombucha kombucha is fermented tea green tea and it's also very good for weight loss plans as I'm gonna also indicate the benefits of green tea in weight loss and of course we're gonna have our magic 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 ingredient apple cider vinegar and this one I made it myself though it's in a bottle with a uh, for brags but uh, I made it myself I just uh, had an empty bottle and I just put it in there but I, I have a video on how I made this as well yeah and yeah and that's it and then of course you're gonna need water right there i have three cups of water as you can see it's on three right there i have three cups of water and that's it guys and then you're gonna begin making your concoction you're gonna begin off by adding some water to our pan like i said these are three cups of water 
for three small cups and then we're gonna turn on the heat and then at that process you're gonna add in first your loria leaves and then you're gonna add in your lemons now you're gonna squeeze in I chop these into spe in two tiny pieces but you're gonna first begin by chop squeezing in give it a little to extract the lemon juices give it a little squeeze and then dump it in you give it a little squeeze to extract the juices dump in squeeze out the juice and dump in squeeze out the juice you're gonna do this for all the pieces of lemon on your plate so that's it and uh, you're gonna allow that to cook as you grate now your ginger I'm gonna grate a piece of ginger I think that should be enough I'm gonna grate it here before I put it in now while your concoction is cooking you just give it a little mix Now guys, I chose kombucha tea for this recipe because it has a quite a number of benefits for weight loss. First of all, the main property it has for helping in weight loss is that it increases your metabolism rate, it increases your metabolic rate and also increases the number of calories you burn. So it helps you burn calories even when you're just sitting. How great is that? So that's why I'm including this in my recipe because it's very good for weight loss especially around your belly area so this is gonna be a good uh, concoction trust me now guys our concoction is boiling and at this moment we're just gonna add in a teaspoon just a teaspoon of cinnamon this is cinnamon like I called it the name is canel in Dutch but it's cinnamon in English So that is a teaspoon of cinnamon, just dump it in. And after that, we are going to add in our vinegar. The vinegar, you're just gonna add in also a teaspoon. That's enough. And then our last ingredient is gonna be the kombucha tea now for the kombucha tea I'm gonna use this egg holder to get my measurement right Ooh, smells nice so I'm just gonna add See, it's a fizzy kind of fizzy. It's a fizzy drink. It has it's carbonate. It looks like it's carbonated. It has those bubbles, and then I'm just gonna add it to my uh, cooking concoction. So just add it in there. And that's it. That's enough. And let it boil now for a short while, not so long. And that will be it to be ready. So our concoction has been boiling roughly for about maybe seven minutes or something like that. Because I'm cooking on induction, so it's very, very fast. And it's now cooked, we're gonna switch it off 
at this moment that's it it's cooked you can let it cool down on the on the plate itself or you can set it in a cup so and pour it in there with a sieve And when you've got enough of what you want to drink and guys you have to drink this warm or hot not hot hot to burn you but warm now this is your concoction or this is your drink for burning the fat around your love handles this is very effective i drink it quite often and you've seen from my waist area it's lean it's cute it has no excess fat my love handles are tamed and that's how you want yours to be so so guys once you have made your concoction and it's nicely cooked and you let it cool down a little bit because you don't want to burn your tongue with it and this is how you're going to drink it you just sit and relax maybe at a dining table or while watching TV and just sip on it it's quite hot right now but uh, once it has cooled down I really enjoy it and this you have to do it you're not gonna do it once and you think you're gonna get the good results you want you have to adopt this in your lifestyle maybe in the evenings uh, in replacement of a tea cup maybe if you like take a, a cup of tea you can take this instead or when you're going to sleep it's also very good because it's gonna make your body uh, metabolize or break down the fat while you're sleeping so i advise that you can take this uh before you go to bed or one, one hour before you go to bed even if it's two hours before you go to bed still it will give you the same effects so don't forget the major ingredients is kombucha tea uh, it, it has ginger it has vinegar those are the three main ingredients you're gonna add in here the rest you can uh, uh, you can leave them out or you can substitute with, with other things but for those three you need to have them so i hope you enjoyed this video and i have enjoyed my concoction i hope i'll see you in another video give it a like and don't forget to leave me a comment and of course of course of course bring a friend who will bring a friend and let's grow in numbers cheers and i hope i see you in another video adios bye bye